Russ, what are you doing? It's November 1st. Why? We haven't even hit Thanksgiving yet. It's only the beginning of November. Why are you wearing a Santa hat? Isn't ho, it a bit early? Ho, ho, ho. It's because we've got the holiday parade. Oh, that's right. Just over a week from now, from yeah. when we're recording this, and the holiday Santa's parade. Santa's coming to Racine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So, all right. Well, I mean, I do like the holiday parade. I mean, the holiday is nice, but it does come a little bit early. Yeah, it comes a bit early, but then it turns all the lights on as well, so this it makes it true. magical downtown. That's true. Join us in just a minute here, guys. We'll be right back, and we're going to give you all the details, all the stuff you need to know about the Racine Holiday Parade. Be right back after this. Yeah. Okay, well, that's at least a little more sensible because you already have a beard. You didn't need a fake yeah, beard. Yeah, I know, but uh, you always used to wear that in the holiday parade because I didn't always have a beard. No, you didn't always have a beard, although it, you do have one now, and that's pretty consistently, you know, your beard now. But, uh, yeah, it was good when you didn't have a beard to have a Santa beard. Yeah. And the holiday parade is a lot of fun. I mean, it's, it is a lot of fun. It is definitely a lot of fun. So first of all, let's get down to the real basic nitty gritty. So the holiday parade. So Racine has two major parades every year. They have more than two, but they have two real, well, actually three, I guess, because we should count the, the St. Patrick's Day one. That's about as good yeah. as the holiday. Uh -huh. So there's three parades, but the most, the biggest one, and we are actually renowned all the way across the states. We've been written up in national things for the July 4th parade, yeah. but our holiday parade is actually pretty good as well. And obviously, though, in Wisconsin, it gets really cold once you get past Thanksgiving. And here, they usually do the holiday parade right around the middle of November. But this year, it falls a little earlier just because of the yeah, way the month ends. Yeah, the 9th of November this Correct, year. Correct, which so. is just over a week because um, this video actually goes out on the 2nd. And yeah. then that's a week later is the holiday parade. So we want people to be able to know about it ahead of time and know what the schedule is, know what to expect yeah. and come downtown and enjoy it. Yeah, why not? Yeah. So first of all, I mean, you can come down during the day because the holiday parade is in downtown Racine. And is. the shops in downtown Racine during the day on that Saturday, on the Novi November the 9th, which is a Saturday, um, they'll actually be open. They'll have all of their, like, Christmassy stuff, their decorations. Yeah, they're decorating all their store windows yep. with their Christmas themes. Yep. And, you know, because there's a contest every year for the yep. store storefronts, the best storefronts. Yep, absolutely. So that actually starts on the 9th as well. So right. So you're going to see them all in tip-top condition. Yeah, so come so down on the great. Saturday the 9th and, like, maybe come down around 2 o'clock or something like that. Yeah, get um, a or come early. Yeah, or, well, actually, no, like, I was thinking about, like, you know, do all the, like, walk around the shops and stuff and see all their different displays and things yeah, like that. Yeah, because once the parade starts, it gets a bit crowded on those footpaths. Right, exactly. You're not going to want to be walking. Yeah. And besides, you want to sit and watch the parade. So yeah. um, bring some chairs because there's not always chairs. But bring also chairs, bring a blanket as well so you can wrap yourself up. Up yeah, make sure you dress warmly if the weather it's the thing is we don't even know now what the weather is going to be like no. on the day because the weather has been so crazy the last few years and sometimes it's really warm and other times it's really cold but it looks yeah. like it's going to be a more cold crisp fall at this point now that we're in November but um, it actually starts at about 4.30, 4.45. They have carolers in Monument Square. Yeah, they have a lot of festive music going on and the carolers around Monument Square. Traditionally, there's also like, sometimes there's like food trucks or beverage trucks that yeah. are like parked up there as well. Uh -huh. Just because it, like, they're not parked on the route, but they're parked like maybe a street away or a block away or things like that. Yeah. So that you can, um, so people can like, you know, get themselves a hot cocoa. Get a festive drink and... Yeah. You know, um, and saying to eat and yeah. enjoy the parade. Yep, exactly. So the parade actually starts at uh, five thirty mm -hmm. from the west side of State Street Bridge. So if you don't know, it's the only bridge in downtown. If you don't know the State Street Bridge, but basically it is on the west side of the bridge, which means it's the bridge that cross. There's actually two bridges, I should say. Not yeah. I, I, I misspoke there. It's not the Main Street Bridge. 
it's the State Street Bridge. So basically, I think the, the staging area is, I shouldn't say I think, the staging area is always is at C&H. Yeah. It's at Case New That's Holland over there. That's normally where we always used yep. to gather. Yep. So it, the staging area is there. So what they do is they come out by the yacht club there. Uh -huh. I think it's Harbor Light. It's right there yeah. or something. They come out right next to the, the yacht club, and then they walk up State, we walk up State Street, walk down Main Street, and then they turn, they basically make right turns, and then a right turn down 6th, Past all those shops down to down City to Hall. Down to City Hall, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it finishes at City Hall. So well, it starts sort of. at 5.30 and finishes at City Hall at 6.45. Yep. Yes, except that when you say finishes, yes, but finishes, no. Because basically what happens is they go to City Hall and Santa picks up the mayor at that point. Yeah. He picks up the mayor and they come back to Monument Square. Yeah. And they do the tree lighting. That's where they do the tree lighting. So that's yep. scheduled to be around six fifty. Yep, and that's to assuming do the tree lighting. That's assuming that the parade finishes at six forty five. Yeah. It doesn't always run it's, to plan. So right, right. It's approximate. Yeah. Time. So basically it's but it's right after. It's five minutes yeah. after the parade. So the parade ends. So if you're standing somewhere on Main Street and Sixth Street, once the parade passes you by, might take another fifteen minutes because they've got to go all the way down Sixth Street uh -huh. and then get to City Hall. Then they gotta turn around and bring the mayor back to do the tree lighting. So you can plan on somewhere around just before seven o'clock and definitely by seven o'clock they're gonna have that tree lit and be going on. And then there are actually um more characters and stuff that starts yep. singing so afterwards. there's more music afterwards. Yep, exactly. And then that's followed by the firework display. Exactly. So, so they haven't always done that. Nope. And uh, for the last few years, they've been having a firework display at the end. Yeah. So... Great. To be honest, it'd be a, it's a great night out because what you can do, come down, enjoy some festivities, either hit a food truck or one of the cafes there beforehand, yeah. or let your hunger grow a little bit and go get, and then, you know, after the holiday parade, hit one of the great downtown restaurants. Yeah. I mean, you've got we've, so we've got many, so great, many really good restaurants And downtown. you can go back and check out our video. In fact, we'll put a, a link to that in the description to our video about our top five Racine restaurants. Yeah, you'll find our top restaurant is actually just around the corner. It is on 6th Street. actually where the parade ends. Where so, the, just about where the parade yeah. ends. Yeah, it's a couple blocks away from it, but uh -huh. yeah, it's right near the end of the parade. So, great place to go grab a bite to eat yeah. after the parade. And yeah, absolutely. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, but there's uh, quite a few restaurants along there that, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, Certainly try them out. And we also have a top five burger place in Racine. And our top, I think our number one burger place was Down in downtown as well. well. It's yeah. right off of... Uh, Right off of Wisconsin, isn't it? Yeah. So there's a couple, and both of those would be open on the night because they're evening places. They're not yeah. places that open up early in the day. You can get yourself a, a nice, you know, nice warm drink um, or a beer to warm you up, whatever it is your preference is. Um, get nice warm drinks and get some, you know, get some nice food. I know one of my favorite things, I know that like Toad Hall is there. And one of my favorite things about Toad Hall is that with burgers, you can get tater tots. Tater tots. Oh, yeah. I love tater loaded tots with a burger. Tater tots. No, not loaded, just tater tots. I don't know. It's just me. I I mean, fries are nice, but they get kind of like everybody does fries. Yeah. I love yeah. having that option of tater tots. It is nice now and again. To have it is. It's a different. nice substitute. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Yeah. So, I mean, you've got t festive tunes. You've got the fireworks. You've got also, of course, all the stores. Most of the stores by the end of the parade will be shut. So, you really want to, yeah. if you want to get and hit them. You want to hit uh, them yeah. before, yeah. before the parade, especially if you're bringing the family down. You know, the kids might be getting cranky by 7, 7.30 at night. And, yeah. you know, so, you know, get them well filled up. Bring down those wagons. Those wagons are fun to put the kids in. Those, you know, easy yeah. to pull wagons. You'll actually see some of those in the parade. Um, I don't we think... We used to carry our dog in there. Yep, we did. Absolutely. We had our <laughs> wagon and we brought that down and put Bobby in it. I don't think we're going to do the parade this year ourselves, but we will probably be down there. We just won't be in the yeah. parade so check it out and look around for us um we'd love to meet you come we'll, up and say hi if yeah you see us. absolutely come up and say hi to us and and we'll we'll definitely make an effort to be down there at yeah. least in monument square look out for the red hat yes look out for the red hat he'll probably have the beard on just because it does add some warmth 
<laughs> putting yes. that putting that beard on does add some <laughs> work to coat, it. Yeah. yeah. But we really do like our holiday parades here. And like I said, there's basically three major ones. The Christmassy or holiday parade, as they call it, because it kind of covers Thanksgiving and Christmas together combined yep. and all the other holidays. But that one's not so long and it's actually a little easier because it is a shorter parade. It's a really good parade for families because the kids aren't having to sit there for hours and hours. And there's normally some giveaways that go on. Oh yeah, the there's route. always so there's the always really good might, stuff that people like might to give get out. some leftover candy from Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> and probably not leftover necessarily. Well, it could be actually. That it would be a be. great way to read to do that. But we will try to be down in Don in Monument Square that afternoon at least, like you know, four o'clock or something, so we can enjoy the carolers. Yeah. But hopefully, meet you guys as well. So if you come, definitely say something. Look come out and, for us. We'll look be out for us. Monument Square. I will say, I actually we went looking for my Santa hat just now, and we've discovered that I don't have one. So I'm gonna have to quick jump on something like Amazon or quick jump somewhere and Order get myself one, yeah. a. Get myself a Santa hat because... Well, maybe one of the shops might sell one. Well, that's true. We should check that out. Yeah. Yeah. You know, take take care of our local businesses for sure. Oh, it's a good yeah. idea. But I definitely need to get myself a new Santa hat because mine seems to be it's gone. I think I got... Well, I think I got rid of it because it was broken. Did the lights I had a doctor. Up? Well, no, it was partly the lights, but also I had one of those like really cool... I love the doctor. I love Dr. Seuss. And mine uh -huh. had one of those like wires in it where you could kind of bend it. And bend I did around, bend it in different yeah. shapes usually. And I think the wire snapped finally. So it got uh. a little saggy and weird looking, but... Yeah, so definitely check us out. We will be there, and um, I think we can commit to being there. Don't you think so? I mean, oh, it's yeah. a week away, but, you know, yeah, I think definitely. we can be there. So check it out. Check us out. Come find us. We will be in Monument Square at some point um, from about 4 o'clock on so we can see yeah. the carolers, chat with you guys, you know, touch base, get to, you know, and if we have some leftover candy from Halloween, we may have that with us as well. You never can tell. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining us. This one's a little shorter this week, but hey, it's all about that great holiday parade. So ho, ho, hopefully we'll see you there. Oh. Is that bad? That was <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's my well, line, anyway. No, oh, yeah, I oh, know, oh. that is actually more your type of joke. I agree, but I'm in a festive spirit, obviously. Yeah. All right, well, guys, if you find any value in our content, do us a favor, click like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and so you don't miss any of our content. If you do see us or if you do plan to be down there, drop us a comment below and yeah. say, hey, I'm coming to the holiday parade, and we will look out for you. So yeah, hope to see you there, and thanks for joining us again. Bye for now. Bye for now.